It's a pleasure to see you to talk about this film. Uh, first of all, you know, there's something about good stories that make them enduring and last the test of time. What do you think in Tarzan is so appealing to audiences throughout the years? Mm -hmm. You know, to be more precise, if I may, um, you're talking about the character, you're not talking about the stories because uh, that character lives through many different stories. And yes, it's always uh, on the premise uh, that Tarzan will, in the end, prevail and win the day. But it's different stories, especially in our Tarzan movie, because our Tarzan goes back and doesn't come forth. So that's uh, a major difference. And not only does he go back uh, to Africa, he also goes back into history. Um, so, yeah, well, you know, when you ask yourself, why Tarzan again? That's because the, the character is flexible enough to live through so many different stories that tell stories about us. When I was watching it, I, I also thought that it's quite refreshing to see him as a hero very different in this day and age of, you know, superheroes that look a lot the same. I think there's something refreshing also about the character that makes it appealing. Do you agree with that? Um, refreshing might be the female perspective, <laughs> Absolutely. you know, but I kind of get what you want, um, what you mean. <laughs> I also get what you want, yes. <laughs> Uh, yes, so, sorry. So uh, t tell us a little bit about Leon Rom and how you wanted to approach him yourself. He's obviously got his own agenda, but he really believes in what he's meant to do. Well, yes, you see, um, it's, it's necessary for the antagonist to have an agenda because if he were the, just there for having tea, the story would kind of be, you know, not that pressing to tell, first of all, and um, it wouldn't be a big problem for the protagonist. And really, in the end, it's, it's an old story in as much as that dramatic necessity ex exists since, um, since always. It's conflict that makes drama. So if you have a hero, you need to have um, to create a problem for the hero. And um, it definitely is a problem. Well, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I don't want it to, you know, give away too much of the of the, the movie because in the end it's up to you to. to Absolutely. But let's say, yeah, he's, he's a little bit um, of, of a conflict himself. How much do you enjoy where you shoot a film and what's around you and who's in it with you? Does it have uh, a lot of weight for you in terms of accepting a role? Absolutely. Um, everything plays a role and, and you know, you weigh, you weigh the various elements um, and, and it's the, the, the total that makes you say yes or no. So, you know, do, do, you, do you like to participate in that story? Do you like to play that character? Do you like to work with that director? Do you like uh, who the other actors are? Uh, because you spend a um, considerable amount of time of your life with them, especially in a big movie like that that shoots for a long time. Um, yeah, well, do you like to go to, to, to the jungle for half a year? You know, um, well, f thankfully we didn't have to. We went to Watford. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is an incredible fascination that it was more or less th because of new technology. You could use, employ traditional uh, um, ways to shoot a movie. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's quite fascinating what they can do with the image. And finally, you, you've, played, you've played so many fascinating characters yourself. Do you remember ever being fascinated by characters uh, before you became an actor, watching it? Well, yes, of course, because um, uh, as a recipient, uh, you should be fascinated um, in order to be taken into the story. You need to identify, you need to, put, uh, uh, you know, let yourself pulled into a story and and uh, that's especially when you're very young or a kid that's not through through an intellectual challenge or a philosophical conundrum or you know like a like a, an aspect of social conduct that you haven't considered before it's because of fascination with characters absolutely mm -hmm.